College decision day is next week, and aside from where you select, there's a question of how you're going to pay for it. WMAR 2 News' Mallory Safaste has the details of a financial arrangement that some colleges are trying because if it matters to you, it's a matter for Mallory. There's been a lot of buzz around a new way to pay for college. Instead of borrowing money, colleges cover the costs, but they expect something in return. The way this works is when you're going here, you'll either pay reduced tuition or maybe no tuition at all. But then the, the downside of this is that after you graduate, you're going to be paying a certain amount of your income to us. It's called an income share agreement. Students can receive up to 20 grand per year. In exchange, they give the school anywhere from 2 to 12 percent of their salary after they graduate. So if you're earning more, then the school gets more after the fact. If you're not earning so much, then the school doesn't get so much. And you'll likely pay less than you would with a loan. If this sounds good to you, you'll need to look at five schools. They're the only ones who currently offer this financial aid option. It's not being done in the state of Maryland. And that's likely because it's a gamble. Students need to be successful in order for universities to benefit. Several Maryland institutions said they're still exploring this approach. In the meantime, there's a state agency that's been compared to the lottery, known for giving away millions. So this year it's going to be $111 million, and then on top of that another $9 million for tax credits. The Maryland Higher Education Commission oversees scholarship and grant programs. Secretary James Fielder said the new Promise program gives high schoolers up to $5,000 for community college and advanced placement helps high schoolers finish college faster. So for the student that goes in a AP program in high school and takes 30 credits, they've just finished one year college. He's also seen more interest in online colleges. They're not spending the money on the road, they're not spending the money on the car, they're not spending the money on the dormitories and all those other costs. So it's a real impact for colleges. Which could encourage schools to get more competitive about their prices so students aren't shell-shocked when they calculate the costs of higher education. A lot of times I'll see students and their eyes just kind of sink a little bit and their jaws kind of fall up and it's like, this is a big deal, but ignoring it isn't going to make it better. Understanding your options is what's going to make it better. And if students fill out the federal student aid application, the Maryland Higher Education Commission will be able to see if you're eligible for any of their scholarships and grants. They'll actually reach out to you to let you know so you can apply. We have a link to all the Maryland scholarship and grant applications and more information on the schools offering income share agreements on our website, WMAR2news.com slash matter for Mallory. And if you have a matter for Mallory, she wants to hear from you. You can email her at Mallory at WMAR.com. And click with us online at WMAR2news.com for updates on top stories and breaking news. Also for news and weather while you're out there in busy land. Download the WMAR2 app in the App Store. You can watch live radar and get breaking news sent right to your phone. I'm Jamie Costello. This WMAR2 News update is sponsored by Jones Junction.